Mario Brothers have given us our very first extended look at the upcoming Looney Tunes cartoon series landing on the HBO Max streaming service on launch on May 27, 2020. The Looney Tunes cartoon series will run for 80 episodes which are 11 minutes long each and will be comprised of different animated shorts within each episode. Of course there have been many Looney Tunes revival series over the last handful of decades, many of them which try to bring the characters into the modern age. Some fans really love them, but some fans do have a disdain for them. The thing that sets Looney Tunes cartoons apart from the rest is the entire idea of stripping back to basics and bringing these characters back to some of their classic portrayals from the Golden Age shorts. Written, directed and created by some of the most incredible, groundbreaking animation directors and writers in history. People like Tex Avery, Robert Clampett, Frizz Freeling, Chuck Jones, Jones, Robert McKimpson, Frank Tashlin, among so, so many others. And for me, someone who is a huge fan of the classic Looney Tunes cartoons, this series looks absolutely fantastic. What I want to do with this very short video is just kind of break down this trailer that we've been given from Warner Brothers and kind of pull out a few things that really stand out to me as really, really special about this. One of the things that gets me really excited about this series is that its production has apparently gone back to a really classic old studio system way of doing things in which different directors, writers and artists are kind of paired off to go and create their own individual shorts with their own individual styles, whether that be artistically or or narratively. Now of course this was the way that these shorts were created back in the golden age where you had different writers and directors heading their own units and creating cartoons that not only reflected their own individual styles of humor or narrative storytelling but their own individual art styles as well. And of course this did lead to many characters having different iterations over the years. Bugs Bunny could look different from one cartoon to the next. Daffy Duck could have a different personality depending on which director and writer was working on any given short. Of course, these are all things that I cover regularly on my Cartoon Evolution series where I chart the histories of classic cartoon characters. If you haven't checked that series out yet, please take a look at some of those videos that I've put together. I'll put a little hyperlink at the end of this video. Hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss another one. But this is something that we have been promised with this upcoming Looney Tunes cartoon series. And as an animation historian, as a, a lover of the classic Looney Tunes cartoons, I'm really, really excited to get back into some classically inspired Looney Tunes cartoons. One thing that has stood out in this trailer to me and to many others that I've seen online is that Bugs Bunny is being depicted in yellow gloves and not white gloves. Now, of course, this harkens back to the classic appearance of Bugs Bunny pretty much before he was Bugs Bunny. Some of his earliest cartoons, he was depicted wearing yellow gloves. What I love about the incorporation of the yellow gloves here, even though they kind of maybe look a bit weird. We're so used to seeing Bugs Bunny in white gloves that has become like the iconic staple of his character. But what I really love about the inclusion of the yellow gloves is that this does harken back to those classic cartoons. And it really shows me that the creatives behind this series actually really care. And they care not only about creating really great little cartoons, but they care about the legacy of the characters that they're handling. Now, I'm sure the creators of most of the Looney Tunes series in the past have had a real appreciation of the legacy of the characters, but sometimes I feel like studio mandates might get in the way of that as it doesn't quite shine as clearly as I kind of see it is here. Other classically inspired things within this trailer that are really standing out to me is of course Daffy Duck is returning to his original classic screwball personality which of course was heavily utilized in some of his earliest most hilariously wacky cartoons and of course Daffy Duck has appeared in this screwball appearance in some recent cartoons but I never quite felt that it kind of got that heart and soul of the original Avery and Clampett shorts and I kind of feel like this does. I mean we're only seeing really Really, really small snippets of it here but I feel like what we are seeing is something that is paying incredibly beautiful homage to those original shorts. I also love that it looks like we're going to be getting some brand new Bugs Bunny rivalry shorts which could be inspired by a whole different range of classic Looney Tunes directors. Of course we've got him going up against Yosemite Sam in a couple of clips here and the style, the humor really does remind me of those classic Frizz Freeling team-up shorts which are of course some of the greatest Bugs Bunny shorts ever 
We are, of course, getting some brand new Bugs Bunny Alma Fudd shorts, which really look to be inspired by those classic shorts from the early days. And of course, very excited to see a Clampet inspired Porky Pig Daffy Duck team up right at the end of the trailer as well. When we think of the style of humor of the Looney Tunes, most of us will really think of the style of humor that Chuck Jones brought to the series. And it's great to see some of his characters appearing in here with shorts which look to be inspired by some of his most classic shorts as well. We've got, of course, Marvin the Martian in here, the Road Runner and Wile E. Coyote, and Gossamer. So I'm very, very excited to check those out as well. And of course, the great Frizz Freelings, Sylvester and Tweety get a little appearance in here as well. In a short that looks right in line with some of his most classic Sylvester Tweety team up shorts. Overall, I'm really loving the style of this. It's this classic throwback that has got me really, really intrigued about this series. This series is, of course, produced with some kind of digital animation. I mean, that's just kind of inevitable these days. And I see that that has been another point of contention for a lot of people on the internet. But me personally, again, this is just inevitable and I, I don't have a problem with that. But as far as I'm aware, this series has actually been hand drawn and whether that's digitally or on paper is beside the point. What I really, really like about the style here is that the animators, the artists have actually gone to what seems like extra length to make this series visually look like the classic cell drawn animated cartoons. If you look at some of these frames and you didn't know, you could probably swear that this was cell animation. Some of the colours, the texturing, there's just something about this that just really stands out to me and just looks so much better than really anything that we've seen from Looney Tunes over the last few years. To me personally, I think the visual style of this is absolutely beautiful. Now I did mention before that there have been attempts to bring the Looney Tunes into the modern era in some way or form in past series. And it looks like in some way this series will be doing it as well. Of course, there's a little clip in here with Bugs Bunny using a mobile phone. There's also another clip of him sitting at home watching a television screen. But what I think will differentiate this series from something like the Looney Tunes show is that it is using these as a source of humor. It's not kind of using these things to try and modernize the characters because as I've been continually saying, these characters are taking on their classic personas, their classic appearances. These are kind of used as the butt of jokes and this really is in keeping with that classic Looney Tunes style. The classic Looney Tunes cartoons they did parody classic pop culture of the era and it would be very strange if the modern Looney Tunes cartoons didn't do that in some way or form as well. This particular clip here of Bugs Bunny watching one of the streaming channels on his television actually made me laugh quite a lot. It's very very clever and it is in line with what was then modern parody, modern gags in those classic Looney Tunes cartoons. You do have to bring some sense of modernity into the series and I think if it's handled correctly, which it looks like it is here, it can be a whole lot of fun and it will be organic and it will flow very, very well. Of course, we get a few little snippets of sound in this here as well, and most, if not all, of these characters are, of course, being voiced by the fantastic Eric Bowser, who has been voicing a number of these characters for up to 10 years now. I'm very excited to see him back voicing all these characters. I think he's got them all a down pat, and I'm really, really excited to hear his voice work in this series. So overall, of course, again, I'm very, very excited to check out this series. It has ticked all the boxes for me so far. Granted, we've only seen about a minute and a half of a promised 1,000 minutes worth of new cartoons, but this is an absolute win for me so far. But how about you guys out there? I want to know what are your thoughts on the trailer for the brand new Looney Tunes cartoon series? Are you excited to check it out or has this kind of turned you off seeing it? Hopefully it hasn't because to me this just looks absolutely absolutely fantastic but I do want to hear your thoughts and opinions so fly away with them down in the comments below and of course if you haven't just yet don't forget to check out my cartoon evolution series you'll find a link for it right at the end of this video just in a few seconds now on that series I am currently working my way through all the major American cartoon characters providing small little history videos on each of them, and I have covered a number of Looney Tunes characters already so if that's your kind of thing please check them out
If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.